that was uh, Kofi Daniel Tre after he got the call up to join the Ghana Black Stars. Uh, so excited by that call up. But uh, Coach CK Akono and the Black Stars have come under a lot of scrutiny after that poor performance versus South Africa and uh, Ethiopia as well. And a lot of revelations are coming out from the camp and it's quite damning in some respect. The latest one coming from debutant and late call-up man uh, he revealed in this interview here uh, with a locally based TV radio station that he did not deserve a call-up. It was quite shocking uh, to say the least and it was quite a real kicker uh, to realize that this guy did not deserve a call-up in his opinion he was so honest in this interview uh, revealing that he had just uh, played just a few games and he was quite surprised that he had been given a call-up by the Ghana Black Stars we'll have a listen to that audio uh, snippets from that audio also the hearts of folk captain Fatal Mohammed. He had a really shambolic game versus South Africa at right back. And he has revealed here to Angel Sport how he felt. He was scared, according to this interview he had. We reveal all that he said in detail here today. Quite, quite shocking, in my opinion. As usual, subscribe if you have not, and click on the notification bell to get more update so Braden Mainu the latest man to come to the Black Stars fold yes he was a debutant that was called up an unused substitute in the two games of Ghana and South Africa Ghana versus South Africa and then in that game versus Ethiopia Braden Mainu in this interview revealed that he was quite surprised by the call up he was giving by the Black Stars and that uh, he felt that he had not played as much and was not deserving of a call-up. Uh, he revealed in this candid, honest interview. After CK Akono and the Black Stars have come under a lot of scrutiny uh, for their performances in the two games, it has been revealed further here in this interview that uh, they didn't do their due diligence and it looks like they called up a player uh, who was undeserving of a call-up these are some of the stuff we have been talking about but first before i give my comments let's have a listen to the part he talks about how he was called up and whether he was deserving of the call up so before that i know we didn't your slightest or being points here when i was just, oh gonna for show something it just came boom this came like nothing and i was surprised because first mikasa you think i didn't believe that when you saw the news. Uh, yeah, yeah. okay so how did you receive the news we've been a friend catch uh -huh. or you saw it debbie 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 uh, first of all we'll be from uh bernhardt bernhardt um okay yeah technically uh -huh, technically the record of Freya. Yeah. and and i was i was i was happy but still i was like eh? how because to be honest, and we are not in April Fool, no, I can see we are here with April Fool. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, it's, I mean, I mean bored that much, sir. I can say, uh, it's the various, what you have okay, they, they have, they should call me because I'm a mm -hmm. good player, I yeah, prove, yeah, 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 I yeah, score yeah. goals, you, assists. You've not really got uh -huh, to uh -huh. mm -hmm. But then I thought to myself, okay, maybe they see something okay. in me, okay. what other people's not seeing. Okay. What do you say? Okay. So this was, uh, yeah, this was the reason why, and this was the thing I said. You are there, so forget it. Okay. And then after that, uh, Charles, as a I know, coach, 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 yeah. coach no, a friend of me. And then, yeah, step by step, every, everything was going. The first they said, yeah, uh, they are just looking. Okay. You know, they are just looking, looking at, you, yeah. at you, but it's not like they are calling me. Yeah. Uh, but to that, I, I have to know that they are watching, they are watching me. Uh -huh. yeah. The next day, Alex Asante was calling me, said, asking for my passport. Okay. Say yes, uh, we need your passport because uh, you will come. You want to. You want. We want that you come to the national team. Say wow. We say wow. We say God is good. Okay. And then this time we need passport. <laughs> <laughs> this time we need passport. We were just in German. How can you say? You can't say. Maybe a identity. Aha. Aha. And we know. Identity card. Uh, identity card. Uh -huh. So you heard that there from Braden Menu 
quite shocking in my opinion i have to say i have always had an issue with mr bernard lippet not that i hate him or i don't like him as a person but this is the same man who told us to go in for jamie lewelick if you remember jamie lewelick was giving the very first call up by the ghana black stars and he departed in fact he rejected that call up why that, why does this have to always happen you give a call up to a player and know that he is coming for sure but it looks like jamie lewelick decided at the last minute to choose germany over ghana and it was bernard lippert who recommended him once again bernard lippert i recommended german braden menu yeah german born Ghanaian braden menu and he turns out he was not up to it this is what we've been talking about. CK Akono can do so much. Yes, he's not helping himself with the way things are going, with the play, with everything. But these are some of the things we were talking about, saying that there are interferences in the collapse that are given for the Ghana Black Stars. It's quite shocking when you hear a player being this candid and being this honest. It's refreshing, actually. But it just goes to show the amount of rot in the Ghana Black Stars and has to show us that there are a lot of hands inside the soup and where there are so many hands inside the soup that is rain prepared uh, yeah it will have a different taste than what usually that soup is supposed to taste like and it might not be a good one and that is what's happening with the Black Stars there's so much influence from external forces in the team selection collapse everything CK Akono is forced to play players he's not uh, wanting to play. He's forced to deal with players he doesn't want to be in the team. And that is what he has to be faced with because he cannot stand his ground and demand that interferences don't happen. And that is why probably he has to leave the hell. If he cannot as a coach stand his ground and demand that the right things need to be done, the right players need to be called up, probably he shouldn't be the head coach of the team but that is what Braden Maynou has revealed here and it's quite shocking uh, to say the least uh, he says he did not deserve a call up and uh, he is right because he did not play as much he was not performing as well he even said in there that he thought that they had seen something in him that he did not know existed or he, he they saw something in him and he was like okay let me go for it he also said he did not even have a passport and they prepared one for him. This is quite damning. We hope uh, something is addressed with these revelations coming up. Also, Accra Hearts of Folk a captain who got his debut versus South Africa revealed that he was scared in an interview here with Angel FM. He revealed here that he was scared at the prospect of playing in such a huge stadium at the FNB stadium. This is what Accra had to folk captain had to say about playing at the FNB stadium. He said, honestly, I got a bit scared when I saw the FNB stadium because the pitch is huge and it wouldn't have been easy with supporters in the stands. But we played in an empty stadium, so it, eats, it eased off some pressure. If the supporters had been there, the pressure would have been more difficult for me to cope with. But without the supporters, it felt like no man's land and I had the luxury to warm myself into the game and show what I also had to help other country. <laughs> Quite interesting. So, so interesting there by Captain of Accra Hatta Folk, uh, Fatal Mohammed. Some would say he is being honest. Some would say, as a school captain, we expect you to be more authoritative, more courageous, actually. Uh, you are in the Champions League now. But he is being honest about how he felt uh, playing in the FNB Stadium for the very first time. And he was scared. He's happy that fans were in there. It would have been more intimidating for him. <laughs> Let me know your thoughts in the comments box on this uh, revelation from Braden Mainu and also from Fatal Mohammed of Accra Heart of Folk. Quite, quite shocking, especially the one from Braden Mainu. Uh, CK Akono, not a great week to be CK Akono. It has not been easy for him. Torrid time he is going through, but there are still calls that he's maintained and allowed to repair the issues with the Black Stars. And let me know your thoughts in the comments box on this one. 
I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day. Enjoy the weekend.